A woman named Gypsy Rose Blanchard has recently been released from prison after serving an eight-year sentence for her involvement in the murder of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, in June 2015. Gypsy grew up seemingly healthy with her mother, but Dee Dee publicly claimed that her daughter suffered from various illnesses. In reality, Gypsy was perfectly fine. Experts believe that Dee Dee's behavior stemmed from the mental disorder known as Munchausen syndrome. Dee Dee pretended and claimed that her daughter was seriously ill as she desired to be a caregiver. As reported by Biography, Gypsy Rose, born in 1991, was still a baby when Dee Dee claimed she had sleep apnea. When Gypsy was eight years old, Dee Dee stated that her daughter had leukemia and muscular dystrophy. Gypsy was forced to use a wheelchair and feeding tube. Due to Dee Dee's actions, Gypsy was prescribed various medications and had to sleep with a breathing machine. She underwent multiple surgeries, including procedures on her eyes and the removal of salivary glands, leading to rotting teeth and a shaved head by her mother. Experts believe Dee Dee suffered from a mental illness known as Munchausen by proxy syndrome making her fabricate her daughter's poor health for attention and sympathy in caring for a supposedly sick child. Medical tests often yielded inconclusive or contradictory results regarding Gypsy's diagnoses, but DD would avoid any doctor who questioned her daughter's illnesses. On the other hand, many caregivers supported DD's wishes. Dee Dee had undergone training as a nurse, enabling her to accurately explain Gypsy's symptoms. Sometimes, she would administer medication to Gypsy, based on the symptoms she wanted to portray. In 2005, Dee Dee moved Gypsy from Louisiana to Missouri, citing Hurricane Katrina as the reason. There, Dee Dee continued to take Gypsy to doctors, claiming that Katrina had caused the loss of her daughter's medical records. In 2008, Gypsy and Dee Dee moved to a new home in Springfield, Missouri, built by the charity Habitat for Humanity, painted pink, and equipped with a wheelchair ramp. Due to her condition, Gypsy and Dee Dee received much assistance and money, including entertainment such as concert tickets and a visit to Disney World. Dee Dee continued to enjoy the attention she received as a devoted caregiver. As Gypsy grew older, Dee Dee began lying about her daughter's age, even altering Gypsy's birth certificate to make her appear younger. However, as Gypsy reached adulthood, she became increasingly difficult for Dee Dee to control. In 2011, at the age of 19, Gypsy attempted to escape her mother's control. She once tried to run away with a man she met at a sci-fi convention. However, Dee Dee quickly tracked them down through mutual friends. She convinced the man that Gypsy was still a minor, even though she was 19 at the time. According to Gypsy, Dee Dee destroyed her computer and physically restrained her in bed upon their return home. Gypsy also claimed her mother would sometimes hit her. Gypsy continued to attempt escape, now trying online dating. There, she met a man named Nicholas Goddijon, who later became her boyfriend. Gypsy confided in Nicholas and revealed what her mother had been doing. Eventually, Gypsy asked Nicholas to kill Dee Dee so that they could live freely together. In June 2015, Nicholas came to Gypsy's home and stabbed Dee Dee while Gypsy waited in the bathroom with her ears covered. Gypsy thought that, given her circumstances at the time, no one would believe her. She was also afraid of what her mother would do to her if she spoke the truth. I couldn't just jump out of the wheelchair because I was afraid and didn't know what my mom would do. I didn't have anyone I could trust, Gypsy expressed. Dr. Mark Feldman, an expert on Munchausen by proxy syndrome, commented on Gypsy's life and actions, stating, her control was total in the same way as control over a kidnapping victim. Her daughter essentially was a hostage, and I think we can understand the crime that occurred later in the context of a hostage trying to escape. And that's the plot twist story of Gypsy Rose, a girl who killed her mother because she wanted to experience the freedom of life that her mother had taken away from her. What do you think? Write in the comments column.